Hello dear students, I am Gadaav Sen Brohi from Government Degree College, Nasirabad, District Kamba Shadar Court. I am preparing my this video as per orders of higher authorities of education department, Government of Sen. My today's lecture is about the introduction of biology. First of all, we have to understand the definition of biology. There are various ways to define biology. I have written here three definitions of biology. First definition is that it is the scientific study of life and the second definition is it is the scientific study of properties of life while the third definition is it is the branch of science which deals with the study of living organisms. There may be other ways in which we, def we can define the term biology. The literal meaning of biology is that bios means life, logos means study or knowledge or discuss. So the literal meaning of term biology is a study of life, knowledge of life or discuss about life. These are uh, the literal meanings of term biology. So earlier when I defined biology, I focused on two terms. Uh, one was scientific or science and second was life or living organisms. Therefore, it is important to study or to learn that what is science and what is life or what are living organisms. First of all, we have to understand that what is science. Is in your earlier classes, you have studied that science is the knowledge achieved after observations and experiments. Here, uh, the second term was life. How can we define life or living organisms? Everything that possesses these eight properties, it can be called as life. It can be called as living organisms. These eight properties are possessed by all organisms on the earth. Number one is cellular organization. Number second is reproduction. Number third is metabolism. Number fourth is homeostasis. Number fifth is hereditary. Number sixth is response to stimuli. Number seventh is growth and development. And number eight is adaptation through evolution. So yeah, these eight properties are the characteristics are possessed by all living organisms on the earth. These eight headings are defining life and you will study chapters on these eight headings. Here uh, we will only study the meaning of these eight terms in order to understand what is a life. Cellular organization that means living things or life has organization of the cells. In our coming lectures, you will study that cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms. Every living organism possesses a cell. If anything that is non-cellular, then it cannot be called as life or cannot be called as complete living thing as viruses. Viruses are non-cellular and we cannot call them complete living thing. Second term is 
reproduction it is the process of producing of spring of their own kind every living organism reproduces the third is metabolism it is the way through which living organisms obtain energy there are various types of reactions but in broader sense we can place them in two categories anabolism and catabolism but here we will not study them because we are having introduction of the biology or here we are only studying the definition of biology in our coming lectures we will study them the second is hereditary it is the transfer of characters from parents to offspring or it is the inheritance response to stimuli living organism every living organism responds to changes uh, in their environment in their external as well as in their internal environment stimuli means changes that are taking place in the either internal environment or external environment so these changes are responded by living organisms growth and development increase in the size is growth and uh, changes that take place from zygote to an adult is development so growth and development is also character uh, character of living organisms adaptation through evolution living organisms adapt themselves by gradual change so these are the eight characteristics of living organisms these are the eight characteristics of life now we can define life as the name of set of properties which are these eight properties now we are going back to our definitions first of all i define biology as the scientific study of life second definition was it is the scientific study of properties of life and the third definition of biology was that it is the branch of science which deals with the study of living organisms so these were the three definitions that earlier i told you and uh, we have understood the two more important terms used in uh, these definitions one was science and second one was life so i think you have got clear cut concept about your uh, these two terms now here we have kinds of forms of life before 1969 scientists thought that living organisms were of two kinds one were animals and second kind uh, was plants these were the two kinds of organisms that was considered by living organism it was predatory spring that fungus was a plant bacterium was a plant a protozoan was an animal and an insect was an animal so a protozoan and fungus and uh, in earlier i uh, told you the other kinds of living organisms were considered as plants and animals so they were not uh, that uh, we can say that uh, they were not completely resembling with one another they have got huge differences among themselves so uh, these uh, two kinds of organisms were placed in two kingdoms one was kingdom animalia and second one was kingdom plantae before 1969 there were only two kingdoms that means there were only two kinds of organisms in the opinion of biologists but later on in 1969 an american scientist robert whitaker discovered this old concept of two kingdoms he abolished 
two kingdoms and gave five kind five types of kingdoms that means he placed organisms into five kingdoms and he thought that organisms are in larger sense five kinds they are of not two kinds he separated fungi from plants he separated bacteria from plants he separated protozoa from animals and he formed five uh, kinds of the kingdoms in our uh, coming lecture we will study five kinds of kingdoms or we will study five kingdom system so as a, a short while ago i said that there are uh, there were considered two kinds of organisms one were the plants and second were the animals plants were studied under the subdivision botany and the animals were studied under the subdivision zoology so we may define botany as the scientific study of plants and zoology is defined as scientific study of animals there is another important thing uh, that you have to understand that various forms of life show similarities as well as dissimilarities among themselves for example we have a bacterium it resembles with animal but it is also uh, also shows dissimilarity from the animals how it is resembling animals a bacterium resembles with animals uh, remember those eight properties those eight properties are shared between a bacterium and an animal these eight properties are shared by every living organism a bacterium is composed of a cell animal also have cell their cells have cell membrane cytoplasm and genetic material so these are the similarities between a bacterium and an animal in this way various organisms also show resemblance as well as dissimilarities so here uh, we complete our lecture and uh, i think uh, you have got clear cut concept about the definition of biology in our coming lecture we will study five kingdom system thank you very much